Okay, now we are going to solve practice problem 4.11 from Sadiku book and the question is find the northern equivalent at terminal A and B. Okay, there is two, two things that we need to find out when we want to find the northern equivalent. The first one is the IN, the current when AB is short circuit. So first we will short circuit this to find the northern current so here here is i n and the second one is to find the norton resistance because we don't have any dependent source we can just turn off and calculate the equivalent resistance okay now let's do the first one find the short circuit current here i n so because this is short circuit all the current will pass through this wire not this resistor so this resistor is gone it's gone so this 6 ohm resistor is gone and we only need to find i n so how to find it okay let's do at this node let's name this node node a and let's use this node b as our ground so I am going to use nodal analysis at node A. So I will assume the current that passed through here is going to the right and he, this current is going up and that current is going there. Okay, now let's do KCL at node A. So KCL at node A. Okay, first current is here and that current is 15 minus VA so this node minus this node divided by the resistance between it so 3 ohm and then plus this current is going in so we'll have 4 and that will equal to the current that goes out so the sum of the current that goes in is equal to the sum of the current that goes out there are two currents that goes in and only one current that go out so here is the current that goes out so i will have va divided by three okay now let's do some algebra by multiplying all sides by three so i will have 15 minus va plus 12 and that will equal to va so I will have this one, 27, is equal to 2 VA. And I will have VA is 13.5 Ampere. And that makes IN is equal to VA divided by 3, which is 13.5 divided by 3 and that is let me find my calculator okay so here it is so I will have 13.5 divided by 3 it's 4.5 ampere okay I will have 4.5 ampere and that's it so the short circuit current is 4.5 ampere so i'm done with this and then i will save the result so i n is 4.5 ampere okay now let's do the second step which is find the norton resistance okay i will erase this part of the board Okay, now let's do the second step which is find the Norton resistance. Okay, because we don't have any dependent sources, we just need to see the resistance from here. So, the resistance from here, but when the sources is turned off. Okay, turning off sources meaning that we replace the current source with open circuit so I will oh, remove this 
so this is uh, an open circuit and for voltage source we replace it by short circuit so I will have this as short circuit and this as open circuit okay now if we see it from here there is two three resistor 6 ohm 3 ohm and 3 ohm this 3 ohm is connected in series and they are parallel with this 6 ohm so we, we will get the northern resistance is 6 parallel with 3 plus 3 so i will have 6 parallel with 6 or 6 times 6 divided by 6 plus 6 and 6 times 6 is 36 6 plus 6 is 12 therefore i will have northern resistance is 36 divided by 12 is 3 ohm so i have northern current is 4.5 5 ampere and Norton resistance is 3 ohm. So our final circuit will be this. This current source with the value of 4.5 ampere and then the Norton resistance is 3 ohm and it is connected in parallel with the current source. So I will have it like this and this is 3 ohm and this is terminal A and this is terminal B. Okay, hopefully I did not make any mistakes in the calculation. Let me know if I did and thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.